Building soil organic carbon can be really difficult if you're using the wrong methods. There's three ways of building soil organic carbon, but only one of them is effective. So the first one is decomposition. So this is where plant litter or animal residue is decomposed. So for example, if a cover crop is terminated, the litter above ground and the roots decompose. The great thing about this is that it feeds soil biology, but the problem is it's only 8% efficient. So it's not a great way to try and build soil organic carbon. The next method is using biochar. Now biochar is the burning of wood in a low oxygen environment. For it to be truly biochar, you need to recharge it with minerals and water and biology. Now biochar is great because it's easy to apply. The problem is that it sits as an inert piece of carbon in the soil. So Carbon is meant to cycle through the soil. It's not meant to stay there as charcoal. The other problem with biochar is that it's ineffective to apply across whole farms. So it takes 25 mature trees to be chopped down and burnt in order for you to have enough biochar to actually increase your soil organic carbon by 1%. The best way by far is the liquid carbon pathway, which uses root extracts from the plant to feed mycorrhizal fungi for the mycorrhizal fungi to then deposit that carbon as glumalin and, and some other compounds into soil aggregates. So whatever carbon the plant puts out as root extradates, on average, 46% of that actually ends up as stable soil organic carbon. So I recommend using this pathway to all my clients when regenerating their farms. The best way to increase this is by increasing photosynthesis and also making sure you have a very strong, robust mycorrhizal fungal network.